There's no two ways about it. Life could be really, really hard for kids in France, especially one to a range age around about five, six, seven, especially in school. This video is about that and, and other stuff. Good morning from a, uh, it's still overcast, it's cold and wind with a big coat. Anyway, I'll show you. <laughs> um, yeah, we've all woken up to the sad news uh, that King Charles III has been diagnosed with, with cancer. Uh, sincere best wishes to him and the rest of the royal family, whether you're into the royal family or not. I'm pretty sure we hope him uh, speedy recovery. Um, life's hard in France sometimes. Um, yeah, with um, you may expect that yeah, we put the kids into school and uh, within a year uh, they're going to be speaking French. It, it's not going to be that. It's not going to be that. Um, it, it, it's not that it's easier for kids to learn. It's just that they're in a classroom environment for seven hours a day with people speaking a language you know, that you just don't understand, and it takes it takes a while and uh, <clears throat> can be really really frustrating for the kids. So if you if you're thinking about coming over, yeah, just be prepared for that. I wish we'd started Robbie on it on his Duolingo, or maybe even private French lessons a long time before we came over. Uh, Evangeline, on the other hand, um, yeah, she's uh, <laughs> yeah, she's not phased by it at all. <clears throat> well, not yet anyway. Um, but yeah, she's at, at a perfect age because we speak English at home and um, she understands French a little bit in the in the school. She, she already has a French accent, <laughs> an English French accent. <clears throat> anyway, we've got the Sparky coming over today. Oh, hold on. Morning, Arnie, ladies. Oh, one's escaped. She's coming over there. You caught her, well done. Go on, pull her in. <laughs> well done. It's the second time he's ever picked up a hen. They're surprisingly light, <laughs> which must mean that the supermarket is just filling with water before they sell them. Um, pool is a live chicken. Poulet is the one that you eat. Fun French fact. <coughs> um, yeah, Sparky's coming today, a second Sparky. Get to have a look, so uh, I'll give you a Sparky update. There's a few bits and pieces that, that we need to do today. I'm confident that this isn't gonna be another 15 minute long video. We never know, dear. Time management. Um, yeah. This is gonna take forever. <laughs> I was asked uh, what I missed about, about the UK very little <laughs> uh, obviously family and stuff but they're in in various universities you know they've got their own lives and stuff you know they can come over whenever whenever they want uh, just eat <laughs> there's no just eat here We're in the middle of nowhere um, we miss Indian food especially Indian takeaway which we used to have on Friday every Friday probably spent a fortune on Indian takeaways I'm pretty sure I put the, the local takeaways kids through college <coughs> but um, yeah, we found an Indian restaurant in uh, in Angoulême, which is about 40 minutes away. We've been there once. We're going to try and go there this week. Anyway, school run. Another job's just been added to the list, as you can see. Back from shopping uh, and the school run. Um, yeah, something uh, very different that they do in French schools is they do wrestling. And that's something that Robbie's struggling with because in England everything's non-contact unless you're a school that does rugby. And then I think even nowadays it's a touch rugby, isn't it? But um, I just noticed that two hands have escaped. Um, yeah, so yes, Robbie went into school not, not too happy today because uh, Tuesdays they do wrestling. We just said, sunshine, you, you're just going to need to try your best. Anyway, I've got something to show you. Flat tyre. I've had it for over a week. But I've had other things to do. Uh, and just to appease my brother, who's, who's messaged me about three times now about, about getting it done, just to allevi alleviate his anxiety around the tyre, uh, I went down to the local garage and two were being fitted on uh, Thursday. I thought, I thought we were going to need all four, but the two, ones are, the, the two front ones are fine. Uh, so, but I do need two back ones. And uh, actually I'm really proud of himself. Right, I just noticed three hens have escaped. <laughs> um, 
because I actually managed to have a conversation uh, with, I think his name's Monsieur Dupe. I think so. Uh, that's in a local village. Really, really nice fella. Uh, really friendly. Uh, and I managed to uh, tell him that, uh, that I needed tyres and uh, we had a conversation around it, only needing two in the end. Um, yeah, no, it's... Um, I thought I was only going to get by so far with the Duolingo, but it's uh, but things are now slowly starting to stitch together. Uh, it is only Sparrow French, but it's uh, I can make myself understood. So, yeah, I'm uh, proud of myself. Anyway, uh, you, you'll notice on the blackboard in the kitchen that Lisa's got a new job for me to do. Uh, got a new kitchen um, oven. We had to get that a few months ago. So, but the glass bit at the bottom is uh, it's coming apart. You know what's coming next, don't you? I'll show you. Right, come on. It's another indoor day. Go on, off you, off you pop. Go on, off you pop. Right, it's going to take ages. Come on. Come on. Ah, it's not going to happen, is it? I'm going to have to send Jean-Luc out. <laughs> He'll sort that out. Um, Otherwise it'll end up being like the scene from Rocky One where he's chasing the hen round. Anyway, I've got someone to show you. Anyway, I've got somebody who wants to see you. Hello. Hello. Hello, sunshine. You good boy. Should we get you a carrot? Let's get you a carrot. Oh, I have my fingers off. Boy. Right, rather than <laughs> rather than try and get three hens in, which is never going to happen, uh, just going to let let them all out, and then have a night time. They, when they get started, they just take themselves off off to bed. They've got a routine. Right. Why don't you come? Look at this one. <laughs> Like a little dinosaur. <laughs> anyway, let's check for eggs. Oh, sorry, madam. <laughs> She's laying. So this is about three or four months old. And uh, the bottom of the oven, I don't know if you can see that properly, so you shouldn't do that. So, we need to take it off and have a look. See that properly. Um, the, the English ones, you, you know which one to, to push in, but I'm not too sure of this one. It's annoying. Right, apparently, we need a key. Sorry, honestly, you're not helping. I think I found them. I think that's, that's what needs to go in. I'll we'll see. Right, take two, you lift it up by it. Good old YouTube. Yeah, 
Gonna, gonna need a cup of tea before I move on. Right, let's get this turned over. I think I'm going to finish watching the end of the YouTube video before I'll crack on. Yeah, je ne sais pas pourquoi. I figured out the issue. It's glue. It needs glue to glue onto the glass. I haven't got open door glue. I think I'm going to phone the shop. It's their issue now. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm just getting a bit of feedback from the wife before I start. About the screwdriver's been on the table. I'll show you. Anyway, the oven door's back on. I'm probably just, just gonna need to take a trip to Darty at some point this week and, uh, and explain that to uh, it needs gluing, or oh, probably need to come out and sort it. Anyway, the spark has been. I'll give you an update on that. Um, he's not available for two months, uh, but that's fine. You want absolutely no rush. Um, so if uh, you want to keep it on a three-phase system, rather than get the EDF to come back out and put on a one-phase system, that's going to cost me a couple of hundred euros. But keep it on a three-phase system, going into a three-phase consumer unit. Um, the box there that I've just sh shown you all about to show you if, if I can overlay it properly in, and in time um, that's gonna that's that's gonna be hiding a lot <laughs> so he's quoted on that as well you yeah, were talking about 1700 euros um, you have to get the work done but it's gonna make the house a lot safer than what it is now and then we'll, we'll be able to plumb the office and the um, and the bedroom into it yeah so that's good um, thanks Kathy and Martin for the uh, for the details of the spark if we're not watching other youtubers um, Lisa and I like to watch uh, James Martin. <laughs> um, so what was funny is uh, we intermittently get ITVX through a VPN. And it doesn't always work. So you can start watching something and then it just kicks you off. Which is really, really annoying. So anyway, yes, Lisa's trying to find it, James Martin, on, on YouTube, but, but she couldn't re remember his name. So she went, What's that bloke who I like to watch on a Sunday? James Clark? <laughs> oh, he's a subscriber. <laughs> anyway, I've come out here because it's too cold in the house. It's another problem about living in an old, in an old house. It's, uh, the fire's on. The fan's on, on top of the fire on. It's getting no heat from it. Next week we're getting our new fireplace. Um, and a new a new chimney clean, a new chimney liner that's going to go all the way to the top. Uh, I think it's like a seven and a half kilowatt eco log burner, so it's going to be chucking out some serious heat. Um, so I think the lounge is like 37 square feet or 37 square meters. Yeah, it's quite big anyway. Yeah, so we're going to need a decent one. So you know, we're really looking forward to that. Anyway, I'm talking to you because I'm trying to put off some, doing some more jobs. But I know what he's doing. I need to put a second coat on the doors, of which I will film it, but I'm not going to film it all because it just takes ages editing it. And uh, <laughs> I'll film some of it. Yes, yeah, yeah, so that you get the general flavour. You're welcome. Oh, and if. Um, If you want to do a QA, and a if you want to ask me any questions, ask me and Lisa any questions, put them in the comments and I'll do uh, a section of the of the vlog tomorrow, if I do one, um, or the next day. Yeah, I'll do that uh, yeah, I'll do that soon. So any questions that you've got about the trials, tribulations, what's, dif what's difficult, yes, what do we miss back in the UK? Ask a question. Do that. Stop following me. Right, let's check for eggs.
So it's Tuesday here in France, uh, means one thing, tomorrow's Wednesday, <laughs> which means oh, the kids are off. Yeah, fingers crossed the weather's nice, we're going by. Um, so yeah, thank you to the new subscribers, uh, thank you to the old, and thank you to the loyal. Um, if you like these videos, please subscribe, hit the like button, uh, add a comment, I like a comment, you know that. I'm laughing because one of the subscribers apparently plays uh, French Cunt Skate to France uh, Charente Bingo. <laughs> it ticks off layers. Um, I like a comment, you know that. Um, I'll show you. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yes, that's why I'm laughing. Uh, I don't know where I'm up to, but uh, add a comment. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Notification bell. Leaves one last thing left to say. And it's from me. Laters! Laters! You get another one, you're thrown in for free. <laughs> <laughs>